Hi dancers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Claudia Dean and today I'm here all by myself because we are filming a point shoe essentials video and we are doing a massive giveaway at the end so make sure you stay tuned right to the end of the video and I'll let you know how to enter so you can win some amazing products. This video I'm basically going to go through all of the things that I feel like you need whether you're new to point or whether you've been on point for years just things that you should take with you to make sure you're really prepared. Just a big shout out to Block for obviously providing all of these amazing products in this bag so thank you so much Block and I think we get straight into it and I'll tell you what's inside. So let's open it and oh also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I always forget to say that, but yeah, subscribe so you can see all my awesome videos. So now the first thing, I mean, you can obviously tell the first thing that has to come out is the first thing is the point shoes. But I also love this bag. I think um, one thing you all need is a mesh bag to hold your point shoes in purely because this airs out your shoes and you definitely don't want to be putting your shoes into a plastic bag or somewhere where they can't breathe. After you finish dancing, you really want them to air. So it sounds gross, but you need to make sure the sweat dries out. So I would really recommend one of these mesh bags. So you can purchase this from Block, of course. Um, inside are my point shoes that I always used to wear and mine are Block Heritage size five and a half triple x and if you've watched my point shoe hacks video i'll make sure i'll link it below so you can click onto it you'll see also how i prepare my point shoes too and how i used to prepare them for every performance with the royal ballet now the next thing i'm going to pull out oh these are amazing so these are actually brand new at block which is so exciting and i think you should all get your hands on some of these so you sew this to your point shoes it's sheer ribbon and it literally blends into your tights so you can see how fine it is and it's just gorgeous and so when you have it on you can't even tell you're wearing ribbons it's amazing and um, also I was told by the general manager of Block that their expert point shoe fitter Sally Ann actually dyed these um, with tea and it became a beautiful flesh color and it blended in perfectly as well with your skin tone so that's another thing you could do too if you need to wear no tights. They're just amazing and they honestly, they feel so soft. So make sure you get your hands on some of these. Now, the next essential is ouch pouches. So I always, I could never wear point shoes without these. So I always needed these. Um, and I personally, I love the ones where they're thick on the front so you can see that's thick and the other side is thin because I always felt like if it was thick on both ends it'd be too bulky and my um, feet would actually go numb in my shoes. So these are called the Prima Pro pads and these are definitely my favourite by far. So make sure you have these and as I said if you're new to point I definitely recommend getting these ones to start off with. Now the next essential is jet glue but I believe this is now called hot stuff. If you're not sure what jet glue does, just make sure you look at my point shoe hack. I basically demonstrate how to use shellac in your shoes, which is very similar to jet glue. So this for me is really important, especially when you have brand new shoes. So you wanna put this in your shoes when they're new, not when you've been wearing them. And I'd recommend putting them in the box of the shoe and also on the outside of the shoe too, near the shank area to keep them a lot harder. They'll probably last an extra three weeks to what they normally would, just because it um, really keeps them alive for that little bit longer. But then that does depend how much you do dance on point too. So if you're dancing a lot on point, maybe it won't last three weeks, but you'll see for yourself. Now, the next thing I'm pulling out is some elastic. So everyone uses all different types of elastic to keep their shoes a little bit tighter on their foot. However, my personal favorite was always this elastic here, the thicker elastic. Um, I always found that it just really supported the arch of my foot. So especially if you've got archy feet, I'd really recommend this one over the um, mesh one. But then in saying that, some people love the mesh one too. So um, this is one that I'd recommend and you can either sew this just straight across your point shoes or you can sew it in a crisscross, which I'm sure you've seen people do. 
Now the next thing I'm pulling out dancers are called bunion guards. Now these are something that I didn't use on a regular basis so I'd only use them when I was in a lot of pain with my feet. So if you've got like a double show of Swan Lake and you're really tired and your feet are just aching, obviously having something like this that really has um, a lot of protection to your toes is ideal. So I'll show you what they're like on the inside. So basically on the inside there's almost like this um, gel and you can obviously see that that's um, quite thick so that would go around your toe whether it's your pinky toe or your big toe and um, it really just protects uh, your feet a lot more. I just sort of found that it would give my toes that extra little bit of support just on the days where they were really painful and especially if you have problems with your bunions I'd really recommend these or as well even calluses because calluses can become really painful if you don't um, cover them up because obviously they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger so these are great for that if you struggle with that side of things. So the next thing I'm pulling out is lamb's wool. I mean, lamb's wool, pretty straightforward. I think everyone knows what this does, but um, with lamb's wool, I think one tip I'd say is you wanna really keep it fresh. You don't wanna keep using the same bit of lamb's wool because they, it actually dries out and it actually becomes quite hard. So I always made sure that I had lamb's wool in my point shoe kit because I knew that it was just important for me to have it. I used to use lamb's wool on my second last toe because because I'd always get a lot of corns and calluses on my pinky toe from point work. So for me, wrapping this around my second last toe would then make that toe much bigger than my last toe. It would always relieve just the in-between part of those two toes, which is exactly what I needed. So it just depends what you struggle with, but for me, that's what I used it for. But it can go anywhere. It can go on the bottom of your point shoes. It can, you can wrap it around your whole foot. You can wrap it around your big toe. So lamb's wool is really great. Now, the next thing I'm pulling out are toe spaces. These are a lifesaver. I honestly would not go on point without one of these in between my big toe and my second toe. If I didn't have this, my bunions, I don't even want to relive how they felt, but they would be excruciating if I didn't have this between my big toe and second toe. So if you're new to point, like for me, this is a must. You've got to have it. Plus, like, you know, when you finish ballet, you want to have pretty feet still. You don't want to have big old bunions sticking out. So if I were you, I'd definitely make sure you get your hands on some toe spaces. It's more just for prevention at the end of the day. So you do want to have pretty feet after ballet. Now the next thing I'm pulling out is covert elastic. So remember when I spoke about this thick elastic? So this was my personal favorite, but you can also get this covert elastic, which is what I just said. Um, and I, as I said, I think this one's great too, but for me, I personally thought the other one gave my foot a lot more support. So it's completely up to you, but this is like the other alternative for elastic. I think if you were wanting a look where you couldn't really see your elastic, like there were some ballets I had to do with the Royal Ballet and we weren't allowed to wear tights and they wanted just, they, they didn't want to see great big chunks of elastic, you know, across your foot. So this one would be great for that just because it's got a more sheer look and you can't really see it on stage. So if you wanted to go for that look, that's what you should go for. Now the next thing I'm going for is there's actually a few different types of ribbon when it comes to um, the block products which I love because it gives you so many different options obviously you can get completely just plain ribbon then you can get the new sheer stretch uh, which I showed you before and then you can also get this elastic rib and this is the one that I used to use when I was dancing just because the sheer stretch is new I probably would have used that though um, when I was dancing but I always used to go for this just because as you can see like that's the ribbon area but then this part the elastic there that would actually go around your Achilles it really is great for support especially when you're coming down through from a plie and things like that it just means the ribbon wouldn't sort of tug at your Achilles so I really think that this one's great and I felt like whenever I was wearing this I wasn't actually wearing ribbons because it had that extra give so I would highly recommend these if um, you're new to point now, the next thing I'm bringing out, I think this kit, it's so adorable. It's just like a little kit that you could carry with you. And inside, look, look how adorable this is. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a stretch rib. So this one's actually um, not as sheer as the sheer stretch. 
ribbon. So this is another type, but basically it's stretchy as well. So when you put it on, like the whole ribbon is stretchy. I think it's genius. Like I, I love these ribbons. They're so amazing. Go block, hey? Um, now the next thing inside is little needles and a little bit of thread and some safety pins. I mean, we always need safety pins, don't we? And the last thing is some more cover elastic. So I think that is a little bit um, thinner than the other one I showed you. So that would be good for flat shoes. But this is such a cute little kit to have with you and um, I love it. The next thing I'm pulling out are scissors and a Stanley knife. So this was part of my point shoe prep, my personal point shoe prep. So um, depending on what you want for your shoes, obviously you can do things totally differently, but these are two things that I needed, which you can find out more on my point shoe hacks video. Now the next thing I'm bringing out are the suede toe caps. These actually feel a lot different to when I was dancing. They're um, yeah, they're great now, like they're very good quality. So you put these obviously on the tips of your point shoes and it will prevent you from slipping. And this was something as a student, I would always put on my shoes. As a professional, I used to um, not put them on because just because of time and because I'd only be using shoes that were gonna last me about three days. And then they'd go into our point shoe donation pile, which they'd be donated after that because um, yeah, we used to go through shoes, shoes so quickly. These suede toe caps are great, especially for a student in training. So I'd really recommend you cut them down to the size of the box of your shoe and you glue them on with super glue. So the next thing I'm bringing out is a darning needle kit. Um, I personally didn't darn my shoes. I um, always saw a lot of other dancers doing it and I think darning really helps with balance. So um, depending how you darn your shoes, you can actually do it quite strategically. So if you find you're rolling your big toe more, you could darn more in that area and it would level you out a little bit more. So I've seen dancers do that, which I think is really clever. It does just take a little bit more time. Um, however, I actually, <laughs> Don't drop the needles, Claudia. Um, I actually used to use the bigger needles anyway to sew my shoes. And as you can see here, it comes with one of those hooked needles here. And I used to find it so much easier to sew with these types of needles. So um, I, that's why I brought it on here because these are pretty much what I used to use to sew my ribbons and elastics. So if you find like using a really tiny needle, if you're finding that really hard, definitely get your hands on some of these because it'll just fix your problems. So the last thing I'm bringing out is Freshify for your feet and I actually got sent this a while ago and I just want to say a big thank you to Freshify. Um, I've had a lot of students try this so before and after they dance and they've loved it so I would definitely recommend getting some of this if you have stinky feet. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but it, it is really good so I'd get your hands on some of those. And everyone, that is the end of the point shoe essentials. But now, right, you can win all of these things right here in front of me. But you have to enter my giveaway and I'm gonna tell you the rules right now. The first rule is you have to be subscribed to Claudia Dean Coaching on my YouTube channel. The second thing you have to do is comment below your Instagram profile. The third thing you have to do is on Instagram, you have to be following two accounts. Those accounts are Collections by Claudia and Block AU. So that's how you have to enter. And basically from there, I'll be picking a winner and I'll be announcing the winner on Saturday, the 21st of October, uh, Australian time. So between probably 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., you'll know the winner. And that will be announced on my Claudia Dean coaching Instagram. So I hope you've got all the rules written down. I'll run through the rules again. We've got number one, you've got to subscribe to the Claudia Dean coaching YouTube channel. Number two, you want to comment below on this video, your Instagram profile name. Number three, you've got to be following collections by Claudia on Instagram. Number four, you've got to be following block AU on Instagram. And then the winner will be in announced in one week's time. So best of luck and thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Once again, big thank you to Block for donating all these amazing products for you all. So I hope you enjoy it and I'm sure the winner will absolutely love them. So thanks again and big love. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.